Bianca and I'm from Pasco. And Bianca, can you tell us um, how you got invited to Hunger Generation when you came? What were your thoughts? Uh, I got invited by my boyfriend, and my first thoughts were, I mean, it was a great experience overall, and I just really fell in love with worship right from the start. Okay. And can you tell us what your life was like before um, you came to this church? What were the things that going on in your life? I was going through a lot in life. I mean, I had just moved to Pasco, and I was going to college, and I was going... Um, I actually had a job at Walmart too, and it was just so much for me, and I was struggling so much in life, and I just knew I needed to rededicate my life to Christ. Um, what pushed you or what made you realize that you need that in, in your life? Um, I actually attended a Wednesday night service, and I just felt the warmth inside my heart, and I felt a good, you know, a good spirit inside of me that just said, you know what, let everything go and give it to God because your life is in the right hands here and how your life has been ever since then? Uh, I've seen so many blessings. I mean, my friend giving her life back to Christ, and then I just recently got a new job. It, and there's so much that God has in store for each and every one of us that we don't know. And what are your goals as a believer of Christ? I want to really um, connect with other girls and reach out to them and, you know, anybody out there that really needs God's love in their life. And what is your advice for people that might be um, slid back or going to college? What do you want to encourage them with? Don't slip back and don't fall. I mean, I did and I came here and, you know, the experience that you feel and whatever you're going through in life, God is there and God's listening to you through every step and every way. You know, all you have to do is give that time, give that extra morning prayer, you know, pray to God every day and he will never fail you.